Hey, back of friend YouTubers. Uh, today we're gonna do a little information about your electrical panel. Now, every one of these are probably set up a little differently. I have a Backo 41, but a couple of things that I've learned, and by the way, I'm no expert at this because I'm not a mar marine electrician, but a couple of things that you will find, I think on yours like ours, of course, the barrel switch allows you to move from shore power to off to the generator. Your third uh, source of power, of course, is if you have an inverter, is the inverter, which only runs a few items, uh, AC items on your on your boat. So the panel is, um, at least my panel is separated into a couple of distinct areas. You can see at the top of this, this says 120 volt AC, 120 volt AC at the bottom. So everything on this panel is 120 volt uh, AC. You'll notice something that it took me a year to figure out. All of the AC lights on this panel are green and the DC loads on the panel are orange. So if you ever wonder, wonder what this switch, whether it's uh, off my battery or off the AC power, uh, that's a quick reminder of what it is. Also, you have a switch in some cases, if you have an inverter that says sub panel, that refers to everything below it. So this sub panel switch on, if you're running and you don't have shore power nor your generator and wanna turn your inverter on, it only controls these items of AC. Cabin outlets, outlets from the pilot house, the microwave and the television set and audio system. This panel is divided up into AC and DC. You can see here's 120 volt AC, and there you are with the green lights again. This is the air conditioning unit. Uh, in my case, I have a washer dryer, a cooking grill, and an extra freezer. But then this section, you can see, and again, here we are with the orange lights. These are DC loads, and at the bottom of that panel, it says 12 volt DC. These switches, of course, control the different batteries in the back uh, lazarette of, of the boat. Uh, the engine switch, you simply turn it down and on, and that turns your engine battery and energizes the engine battery. By the way, these switches simply trigger toggle switches that are in the back uh, lazarette of my boat that are not dissimilar to the old red rotary switches that would turn around. So you turn those off. This is the AC parallel. Uh, you, uh, I've been told you should always leave that in the auto position, not on on or off, but in the auto position, uh, which allows charging to go both to the engine bank and the house bank. And then these are for the generator battery, the bow thrusters and thir stern thrusters, which are uh, do share some of the batteries. Um, so then uh, we have uh, various DC loads again. At the top here, you'll see this says 24 volt DC. This boat is 24 volt. The 12 volt here go through a converter and just convert it down to 12 volts. So these are 24 volt. This is the freshwater pump, the heads. Um, I have an oil change pump with the wash down pumps and so on. And then finally, on this side, you can see there are digital uh, readouts to give you the voltage on uh, the engine, the voltage on the house. And then in my case, the third switch down is actually blank. It's not used. Uh, these, of course, are all DC loads. Again, 24 volt DC. And we can confirm that by seeing the orange lights rather than green lights on it. Uh, so hope that uh, maybe teaches you something. It took me a while to kind of figure things out. It is, uh, you know, a little bit daunting when you first look at it, but uh, it does make sense once you kind of work your head through it. Thanks for watching.